Hello everyone, this is LZ and we're back at Let's Fail Us Lars. Continuing right where we left off. Last episode, uh, we had just colonized our first world? Yeah, I'll say first world. I mean, not counting the home world. <laughs> it's actually still in the process of being colonized. As you can say, it will take a little bit of time, and I'm going to lose energy during that time. Somebody else leveled up. Was that? Ah. Once you're done that, then go and research that. System survey. Survey that. Yeah, so, since there's a lot of waiting around, especially at the early point of the game, I'll try to talk about some stuff to fill in the gaps. Uh, what, I don't know, but it'll probably be pretty random, <laughs> knowing me. I guess I'll do a little bit of an introduction. Um, so yes, Alzi, uh, or Alzcaster. Why did I start doing Let's Plays and videos like this? Well, I always liked the, uh, you know, other people who did it kind of get some inspiration from other folks like uh, Markiplier or uh, Noble, uh, some other folks out there, Solar Gamer, and a few others. Anyways, so I, and, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm going to s try this as an experiment to see how it works out. See if people like me, if the things get popular or not. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, sure. Yes, Bethurian Power Plant. Yeah, so I can turn those Bethurian stones into a crap ton of energy. So, <laughs> Bethurian Power Plant. So, to give me an idea what this what this does. The power plants normally provide like five, four. You know, they, found. When you build one, it gives you three power. And then if there's power on that spot originally, it will give you more power. Or energy credits, sorry. Anyways, the Batharian stones, when you build the Batharian power plant on where the stone is, will actually give you ten power. So that's quite a lot. And again, I'm sorry for calling it power, I know it's energy credits. So since I researched one of the mining thing, uh, the mining technology earlier, this little yellow upgrade to me, little yellow arrow means that I can upgrade the mine to basically give me more minerals. So that's what I'm gonna do. It does cost a little bit of minerals to upgrade them. I think I had enough for now. All right, so that's now on my borders. Let's. Uh, yeah, I need a level 5 scientist for that thing. Uh, of course. Okay, you go a bit mining station, because that's three energy that I can really use. So, pirates, basically. They always issue that event early on, I find. Probably just has to see if you're uh, have a strong enough fleet to actually do anything. Which in this case, I did! Haha! And go kill them. Was probably one of the uh, anomalies that was being researched. And they left. Ah, oh, those fucking pussies, they didn't want to fight. 
putting an admiral on my fleet. I probably didn't need to for fighting this those Hostile fleet dicks, engaged. but uh, it wouldn't hurt. System survey. As you may have noticed, it costs influence to hire uh, leaders. Situation log updated. Isn't the same first thing. <laughs> yes. There we go. I blew up the pirates. Now they have a station somewhere that I have to go blow up. I'm gonna send these guys to repair first. Uh, it's probably up here. I think that's where they flew in from. Was from one of these. So they're probably from one of these systems. Probably research that debris. Hmm. Maybe we should build a third science ship. Oh well, fuck it. I'm gonna build a third science ship. Alright, power. Still negative. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Let's go for. Food's good for the moment. Well, let's go for minerals then. Build a mine. Please be repaired. Construction complete. All right, so complete. Some new over here. Let's see if that's really right. I think I should better handle it with that. Send the construction ship back to port. It's usually a good habit to keep any ships that you're not actually using um, at your spaceport, because otherwise you will pay more energy for them. So if they're in orbit of one of your planets that has a spaceport, you won't uh, yeah, you won't take as much of a penalty for their maintenance cost. And they were over there, I just didn't wait long enough. Third science ship. We need to hire another scientist. Yes! And there's a reason why I'm... I'm... Alright, so... I'm gonna switch you out for him. See so as plus 10 research speed overall. Or the other guy only had plus something to one particular flavor of research. And I uh, will put that scientist on the ship. I know, technically I shouldn't be doing I should have people who have plus research, uh, anomalies or something like that, but they're giving me bad choices for leaders. <laughs> no big deal. You work with what you got. As they say, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. If life refuses to give you lemons, so you can't make lemonade, grow oranges. Hostile station engaged. Anomaly found. Fight the Research pirate station. Complete. They have the same laser tech as me, by the looks of things. Well, makes sense. They're. Yeah, they said they they took uh, fragments of uh, my ships to build their own. Construction. Now, so as I said, they uh, change every time. <laughs> Energy management. Just the nexus that'll be useful. Thank you. 
Well, that sucks. Two failures for anomalies. That's too bad. Election, so it's been 10 years in game. System survey complete. Destroy the pirate station, gain a bonus of uh, resources. Situation log updated. Debris analyzed. Okay, researching that. Those debris gave me bonus for deflectors, nanoparticle, etc. <laughs> Bunch of stuff. Although, I have heard that. Researching debris, your time could be spent uh, better elsewhere. I have heard this. But, uh, myself, I usually try to grab the debris, but later in the game, the debris tends to not give you so much new tech, or because early on you're gonna, if you see, so manage to destroy uh, a ship that belonged to another empire that had higher tech than you. You'll get a little bit of their tech from their debris. So to help you re reach a higher tech level quicker. But that's only really for early on in the game. Once you reach the later phase, or if you're out teching everybody else, it doesn't really help you. It does give you a small bonus to you know your current research, but you know, you, you could just have your ships doing assist research on your planet to give you the same amount, or you know, your science ships should still be exploring early, if, assuming there's more to explore. Alright, so we have a new... a new leader. Who was the admiral on my fleet? Ah, okay. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I always thought was kind of funny is that the what happened to the what happened to your original leader so they always pick uh, in governments like the democracy or the oligarchy or any of those ones when they pick a leader for your actual government your whatever you want to call them your prime minister or your uh, your president or Commissary General, in this case. After the first election, that original leader that you started with is just gone. So I don't know where they go. I don't know what happens. They just, you know, they retire somewhere, in a tropical off planet somewhere with their own private beach world. I don't know. <laughs> But other than that, once uh, past that, after the 10 years is up for this guy, assuming he doesn't die by then, and he shouldn't, because he's only age 39, um, once the 10 years is up, he'll return back into my leader pool and I can use him. Uh, he'll show up here as an available leader and I can use him again for something else. But that first initial leader. I don't know where they go. They just, they just vanish into obscurity. So paradox, take note. And of course, the problem with that being is, uh, how would you determine what role they were before they became the ruler? And I guess you'd have to leave that up to uh, random. This RNG rolled dice, okay? Were they a general or uh, an admiral or a scientist or a governor? Or just default to governor. <clears throat> so that was my new, my second planet. It's done building. Yay! So yes. System survey complete. I am going to let's start with food. Actually, it's probably the better one to ask. 
Yeah, so there was an earthquake. That's unfortunate. That planet has... <laughs> so the earthquake didn't actually damage any of my buildings on there, probably because there wasn't any, uh, like, there was only what, one or two buildings after the colony started. And, uh, said gave me some arrows. That's from the, if you remember when I first colonized it, the Unstable Tectonics modifier on the planet. Anomaly found. Debris. Okay, it's getting really bad luck, bad luck with these uh, anomalies here. It's like, oh. 10% failure, gonna fail it. What the fuck? not that bad. So, sections of the galaxy that are known as miasma, or dust clouds, or drift, nebula, nebula. As it says, nebulae gives a 3% travel speed penalty to ships. And that is what they are. They're all nebulae. Whenever they call them something that turn an expanse, it's a small little nebulae section, you know, some dense space dust and, and gas clouds and whatnot, and it slows down your ships. And I think even in, um, if anyone's played uh, FTL, uh, when you travel through them, it, I think it not only slows you down, but it reduces visibility. You can't see anything very much either. Of course, they don't really talk about that in this game, but it slows you down. You're high enough level that you could probably research that. 20% failure. Well, that's 20% failure before he does all that. Construction so complete. Might blow up by Uh, these here are all tile blockers. The ones that are in yellow, you can clear them out. You pay a little bit and you clear them out, makes that tile workable. The ones that are in red require you to unlock a certain technology in order to clear them. I don't have those ones yet. Once you reach the certain, once you find and get said technology, it will turn yellow and then you can pay to energy versus minerals it's a tough choice actually I am gonna go energy screw it huh. So in the event that anyone is commented on one of the previous videos and wondering why I haven't said anything about it, I recorded the first several of these all in one session, back to back. So forgive me if you're thinking I'm not paying attention. <laughs> System survey complete.
Nah, three, three science ships is there enough, I think. <laughs> Construction complete. Anomaly found. Yeah, so on s planets that don't have spaceports, when you go to the planet, when you go to the spaceport pad, it'll actually let you choose to build one if you have enough minerals. I don't have to build one, but I could. Advantages and disadvantages of building spaceports. They cost money to maintain. They cost energy to maintain. Um... Bonuses would be that every spaceport that you build adds to your naval capacity, so you can have more ships that way if you have more spaceports. And it gives you more choices of locations of where you want to build ships from. But they can be costly to build and maintain, especially later on once you actually get the ability to upgrade said spaceports, because in order to build the higher end and bigger ships like the destroyers and the cruisers and the battleships, Efficiently, you would need to upgrade said spaceports, but it takes a little while to not to get to that point of being able to build ships bigger. And it, I mean, it's costly to upgrade the spaceports. At least that front. I think running them is still the same. Anyways. I'm going to build some armies to help defend said planet, said the new planet. And I might as well hire some assault armies too. Although well, they're not of any use to me at the moment. Down the road, they probably will be. Assuming I get to the point where I can actually invade somebody. I am playing as a uh, spiritualist, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to go with this one. And this one would definitely sound pretty creepy, though. Imagine this, you're, a, say... Say even here on Earth. Uh, I'm just going to use this as an example. Say in... I don't know, a couple hundred years, thousand years, whatever, we're actually reached the point where we're spacefaring, where we can actually kind of do things that you're doing in this game. You can, we have colonies and whatnot. And say we're traveling along somewhere, as you, one of your exploration vessels, one of our explorer ships or probes or whatever, finds a rock floating in space, and when they go and investigate it, it's a statue of one of the ancient Egyptian gods. And it's like thousands of light years from Earth. It's like, what do you think that'd be a little bit creepy? <laughs> but basically, that's what this event is. <laughs> basically. Hmm. Situation log updated. Of course, me saying that, really what that means is that, System you know, survey complete. all the people who were, you know, complete. the ancient alien theories, I'm not sure Special project complete. that, but that's exactly what people would be. And be like, oh, it's true! <laughs> but, example. <laughs> Alright. Unlock tile block. Yeah, see? Construction complete. I should probably grab that, because that's one of the ones that I'm going to need for the colony. Yes. Although not as useful as the jump rope or the swamp. But, to start. Alright, so factions. I'll talk about these in the next episode. <laughs> Until then, LZ signing out.